Welcome back. It's World Afro Day and people across the globe are encouraged to celebrate kinky, coiled or curly Afro textured hair and to learn more about it. A recent study revealed that 70% of African women with natural hair struggle to take care of it. Having been one of those people, Tokozile Manguiro started a natural hair care company, Notika, to help those with hair issues. She joins us now to talk about this day and indeed the various products that are out there at the moment. Tokozile, very Good morning to you. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. At what point did you decide that you were going to take this natural hair care thing into your own hands? Oh, wow. I, I struggled with my natural hair for over 14 years. Um, with dry hair, I looked everywhere on shelves and found that products were never manufactured for our hair. And after those years, took it upon myself to use natural ingredients try and use things that can penetrate into the hair and still struggle to have just natural ingredients because it sit on top of the hair and um, then i found a formulator and we tested the products over two years and in 2016 launched nilotica hair care from or for the benefit of those who don't understand how natural hair works yes how different is treating natural hair from a weave or relaxed hair well, um, natural hair is literally the hair that grows out of your scalp. A weave, well, clearly not our hair. And then relaxed hair is hair that has been treated chemically. And generally that's how um, an African woman's hair has been seen or, or, or been taught that you should um, treat your hair as it grows out of your hair. Treating natural hair is treating the curly hair that beautifully comes out of your scalp. Um, it does have its challenges. But we've created such products as Nalotica Hair Care to, to, to nourish the hair, to, to put in your hair where you've, your hair feels like it's eating up the most amazing ingredients and you're able to then manage the hair. So it, it can be difficult, but with natural hair care ingredients, you are able to then um, nourish your hair and manage it. Are you finding that attitudes toward natural hair and natural haired women yes. are changing or are we at a point where pure women with natural hair have just stopped trying to explain themselves, even in situations where they really shouldn't have to? I believe there's always been a stigma. Natural hair or Afros have always had a stigma. It's been politicized throughout history. Um, and as we find ourselves today celebrating World Afro Day, you must understand that Afros resemble uh, a, a woman's strength, a black woman's resilience. So um, I do not believe that ladies with natural hair now just keep quiet and say, we're not going to explain ourselves. They celebrate themselves more. And those that are, are looking towards growing their natural hair, those attitudes are growing. They're looking for more options of how to grow their natural hair. You find that women don't know how to grow their natural hair. And we're very excited to have something that can um, empower women it, to, to actually put in their hair and actually see the growth and actually believe in themselves. It actually changes the way you look at yourself. Your, your natural hair changes the way you look at yourself. And also seeing a lot of variety, aren't we, in the styling of natural hair. I remember growing up, it was either the Afro or dreadlocks, and now I see you guys have even extensions oh. that are now made to suit natural hair. You are wearing what I'm told about faux locks. Is oh, that what they are? What is this now? Head. This is absolutely crazy. Is this all yours? <laughs> yes. And how, okay, so no how... No locks, no. No faux locks for you. How does it... But it looks so good. I suppose that speaks then to just the advances in the care of things like, such as straight locks. That's right, that's right. When you, str you struggle initially, you wouldn't know what to do mm. with your hair. Now you've got these beautiful, uh, um, different products on the shelves. You walk in and you've got, you've got options. I mean, how amazing is that? Um, and, and even if women feel like when going to work, you feel unprofessional with your natural hair, not anymore. We are having all these different hairstyles to put on our hair. Um, we're having all these beautiful, uh, uh, it's almost like showing off uh, your personality through your hair. Um, yeah. Let's speak to people who are watching you and I chatting right now and saying, you know what, I've actually decided that I want to go the natural hair route. Mm. What are the top products to get? And how, where does one go in trying to get the best help in caring for natural hair? Because a lot of women I've spoken to have often said that you go to a hair salon and the people there don't actually know how to treat natural hair. Fortunately, that's true. That's true. And it's a nationwide problem. Um, I think the best way is to interact with our product, 
Um, I'm biased because I think it's the most beautiful thing you'll put into your mm -hmm. hair. I feel like we focused a lot on functionality and when you put in, you actually feel hydration. So my advice to anyone who's trying to grow their hair out, we, we always preach moisture. Mm -hmm. Moisture fixes damaged hair, um, assists you with growing your hair actually. It's almost like you're feeding this moisture hungry hair. Um, and, and, and go online and read up about the ingredients that you're putting into your hair. Make sure that you're not putting in chemicals in your hair or things that don't penetrate the hair. So we've made sure that you've got product that penetrates the hair. I mean, we've made it even accessible. We're available at clicks nationwide. It's, it's a learning curve. It's a growing curve. It's, it's people interacting with us, us interacting with them and growing as a brand. Um, but biggest advice, we always preach moisture because of the results we see when they come back, when they use really good hair care. Mm. Natural as it is, not all hair is the same. So how varied are the product options at the moment for the different kinds of natural hair? Pretty varied. Um, international still, unfortunately, but we are growing um, that that marketplace. You don't always have to walk into a retail space. You can now go online. We've got retail partners online that are just focused on um, natural ingredients, natural hair care. Um, and I, that's why I say focus on looking at the ingredients that you're putting into your hair. Um, so the, the, the it depends what kind of hair you have. Enjoy your hair, actually, when you're using different kind of products. Yes, test all different kind of products, but don't give up on the type of hair. My hair won't look the same as yours. There's nothing wrong with that. Enjoy the type of hair that you have. So how are you marking World Afro Day? We are celebrating um, online, basically, but um, everybody is showing their posts of their afros and how they've grown and how our products are helping them. That's exciting for us because we're still a young brand, but we're seeing the impact that we're having. So we're very excited. And we encourage everybody to just carry on sending us all their beautiful po uh, pictures. Earlier we spoke about how political hair actually is and how do days such as World Afro Day help, do you think, in challenging the stigma and the misconceptions around women who wear their natural hair. Yeah, it's all about education, really. Um, to kill that stigma, you have to educate the person that thinks natural hair is actually old-fashioned or it's ugly in any way. No, it's the most beautiful thing that grows out of our, our hair, really. Um, it doesn't need to be altered. So it's all around educating the the various ladies that want to know more not even just ladies moms that are growing their little babies and they don't want to put chemicals into their hair anyone who doesn't want to put chemicals into their hair um i think it's 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 quite significant that world afro day and days like this highlight those things and educate more of the moms and dads and whoever else is bring up their babies so well, thank you so much for coming in Thanks this morning. Thanks for having me. And that is how we here at ENCA Market World Afro Day. That was Tobosile Mangwiro. She is the chief executive of Nolot Nolot Nolotica. Nolotica. Yes, <laughs> it is a hair care range for natural hair. So if you do see them in the store, to give them some support. Michael is up next with your sport in a moment. Stay with us.